Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one women's Adam Weight world champion. It's been a while since we did a fight week. We're leading up to it now. Angela Lee, great to see. You. How good is it to be back? How much have you missed it? Andrew, um, yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. Um, next week is fight week already, and the fight is, you know, it's approaching soon. So um, I feel like I've been getting ready for this fight for a while. And um, I'm just excited to, to get in there and get it done. Is it okay if we go sideways with the phone so we can see, see you in the full screen? Lovely. Thank you. I was wondering, when you're a teenager starting to turn pro, is this what you envision? Not only are you world champion, but if you look at the icons and legends of the game on this card, you're the main event. So it's massive for your legacy, massive for women's MMA. Did you see something like this? Um, no, I, I definitely not. Um, I mean, when I first started, you know, my, my main focus was to become world champion and that was the only thing that mattered to me. Um, so, uh, you know, it's been a few years since then. And, um, now headlining one of the greatest cards in one championship history is just, it's really unbelievable. And I, I feel super honored, you know, um, I've worked really hard in the past few years and um, I'm just proud that I was able to bring women's MMA to where it is today, especially here in Asia. Well, the fight's got the makings of an absolute classic. Uh, we're going to go to our first media question, which comes from Andrew Mack of MMA Island. Go ahead, Andrew. Hi, Angela. So uh, being a new gym owner with your husband, what challenges has being a gym owner given you while preparing for your own fight? Um, it's definitely a lot to juggle. Um, uh, I love it though. Um, you know, Bruno and I, we love giving back to the community. We love teaching. We love, um, you know, sharing what we love to do martial arts with, um, our community. So, uh, even though it's, it's stressful at times, um, it definitely, the, the pros outweigh the cons and it's our little way of giving back. And now that you're a mother and a gym owner, do you feel like you're fighting for more than just yourself? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Definitely. Um, you know, now I have my family to think about my daughter and um, it gives a whole new uh, motivation for fighting. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Next up, we're going to go to Timothy Wheaton of Calf Kick Sports. Go ahead, Timothy. Thanks for taking my question. Appreciate your time today. In terms of career significance, where does this fight with Stamp rank to you? Uh, this is definitely the biggest fight of my career, um, you know, by far. I mean, she has her credentials. She's a world champion as well in uh, the striking arts. But, you know, mixed martial arts is a, is a whole new game. Um, but, yeah, she's a dangerous opponent. She's fought her way to the number one contender um, position. And, um, you know, now it's time. Now it's time to, to meet each other in the cage. So. Absolutely. And it, it, leading up to this fight, she has been very respectful towards you. Do you like the respect or would you prefer a little bit of trash talk? Um, no, I, it's, I appreciate it. I, I do appreciate, um, you know, I think that I honestly don't think there's no need for that. Um, you know, this is a professional sport and we're keeping it professional. Um, it's different, you know, um, people usually have a lot of animosity or, um, you know, they like to hype up the fight and it's always in a negative way, but, um, you know, we're hyping up the fight in our own way, um, you know, with respect and we're letting our skills speak for itself. That's great to hear. Thank you so much for your time. Best of luck in the upcoming match. Our next question comes in via text from Luisa Morales from Philippine Star, who asks, can you give us a prediction for Siohi Ham versus Denise Sambuanga? Hi. Uh, honestly, um, you know, I'm glad they're running that fight back again. Uh, it should be interesting. 
I don't know, you know, um, it's hard to say what the outcome of a fight will be because there's so many um, things that you can't prepare for. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to see who shows up on that day. As the champ and as a competitor, just as a follow-up to that one, which do you prefer? Because the fight with Ham, everyone would love. She's a legend. You're the champ. And the fight with Denise has a backstory to it. You know, she's, she was the number one contender for a while. So which do you prefer as a challenge? Honestly, I can't wait to fight Denise. I hope she wins so I can fight her, but I'd love to fight Sohi Ham as well. Um, so either way works out for me. All right. Well, lots to look forward to in that regard then. Next up, we're going to go to Tom Taylor of SEMP MMA. Go ahead, Tom. What's up, Angela? Long time no talk. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Tom. Hanging good, in there. Good. good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, you've spoken quite a bit about how, you know, the motivation has changed since you became a mom, but just in terms of the, you know, the tangibles, the practicality, how is, how is getting ready for a fight change since you became a mom? Oh, it's, it's completely different. I mean, we have to, we have to, in the beginning of camp, we had to make sure we scheduled everything like accordingly. Um, and I'm having three training sessions a day while being a mom still. And that's um, crazy, but at least I have um, help. So my husband takes two, um, two of the uh, slots while I'm training to watch Ava. My mom also helps. My brother and sister-in-law, they also help. Um, so I got a lot of people who love and care about Ava and I, and, um, you know, they're willing to step in whenever I need, um, whenever I need them. And that's just, I feel so lucky to have that. Awesome. I'm glad to hear you have a, a good group of people around you supporting. Um, I saw your Facebook post the other day about the, the long flight you and Ava are about to board to Singapore. Um, are you excited for that? That's going to be a little, uh, an interesting adventure, I would imagine. Um, I'm kind of nervous, but you know what? I'm hoping for the best. Um, I'm hoping she's able to, you know, sleep well so we can sleep a little bit. And um, yeah, it's the longest flight that, that we've ever been on. So um fingers crossed <laughs> uh, i wish you the best of luck uh, i'm sure those new headphones you got her will help um there have been a lot of questions ahead of this fight about you know how quickly you'd be able to get back into the cage after becoming a mom and you know frankly quite a bit of skepticism um but you've done it in a very short amount of time does it, does it feel kind of good to silence silence the doubters like this um you know what i wasn't really too focused on on the doubters or haters or what anyone was thinking about. I was just thinking about getting healthy, you know, getting back in there. And um, so for me, I'm very, I'm actually, I'm really impressed with, with uh, the, a woman's body is just incredible, you know, and um, it's able to go through so much and, and um, it's like way more than I expect because I didn't know what to expect, you know, um, when I was pregnant and about to give birth, like I've never been a mom before and I never gone through this. So it was definitely something I was nervous about how I was going to bounce back. Um, and in the first six months, like I was very unsure of myself, like, um, things weren't feeling the way I was supposed to, like, I was like, I don't know. I just felt like not in my own body. And um, so just giving myself like patience during that time was very difficult to do, but I think extremely necessary so that I was able to, you know, make a proper recovery. And um, now here we are <laughs> in fight shape, just days away from fighting. So it's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a crazy journey. Uh, last one for me and just a quick one. How, how good is it going to feel to get that first W as a mom? Oh, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I, uh, there's going to be tears for sure. <laughs> there always is. Awesome. Awesome. Angela. Well, uh, I hope you guys both enjoy the flight and good luck with everything. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Next up, it's Dylan Bowker of Sports Kita. Hey. 
every day to make time. I'm just curious because, you know, you've had such a journey with the promotion close to seven years competing with them as of now and just you know, headlining the 10th anniversary card. I'm just curious how you're feeling being here. Um, yeah, you know, it, it is a massive event. Um, but, you know, part of myself is not, is it, part of myself is telling myself that I shouldn't be focusing so much on that, you know, because there's so much pressure on my shoulders coming into this fight as it is, um, you know, for me being away from the cage for about more than two years. And, um, you know, and, and what a way to have my comeback fight, you know, on an event like this. So um, even though I am, you know, super honored and I feel so lucky to be not just on this card, but headlining it um, at the same time, I am not letting myself dwell on that thought for too long because, you know, I got a big task at hand, which is, um, you know, my fight with Stamp. Yeah, I can completely understand that there also was curious though about the multi-part docu-series that you had leading into this one there the anatomy of a fighter i'm just curious like how much that serves as both like a memory of like comeback of yours but also something to you know look back on with your daughter there yeah definitely you know um i knew that i wanted to I knew that this was going to be a special time for me, you know, a time that I would never get back again. Um, and it was something that I wanted to capture and document. And so, um, you know, I spoke with one and they're able to find Will and together we collaborated and we um, created this four part ducky series um, just on, you know, the journey of this all um, coming back to the cage and it's been it's been awesome. It's been so much fun to make, and I hope that you know everyone has enjoyed um, watching it and and just seeing from a different lens, from a different view. Um, and uh, I, the feedback has been great so far. I, um, everyone who's watched it has told me that they loved it, so that's good. Yeah, and it seems like you know you know. Lastly, for me here, it just seems like Ava is having a day relatively soon coming. We have fun plan for that. Is that going to be more planning after the fight kind of thing? I'm sorry, you cut, cut out there a little bit. What was that? Oh, sorry. I was just saying it seems like Ava's birthday is coming up pretty soon. Are there some fun plans in place or more for after the fight? Kind of thing? Oh, yeah. Me and my husband, we are very excited about that. Um, we've already started some planning because when we get back, it's going to be it's going to be really close um just a couple of weeks until her birthday so uh yeah definitely um lots of good things coming up you know um it's a big big milestone for our family for for Ava um one year just flew by but um yeah before we celebrate we got to focus on getting the job done absolutely thanks so much for the insights Angela thank you thanks Dylan uh, two questions coming in via text from Nedipong of MGR Online, who asks, how would you compare stamp striking to Xiong Jing Nan's? Uh, I think they're both, they're both dangerous strikers. Um, I'd say Zhang is more heavily based on the boxing. Um, but I see stamp is, you know, um, you know, stronger with her kicks and her clinch. Um, yeah. And the second question is, did you see on the last one show, Chatri Sichitong said in terms of predictions, he's slightly edging towards Stamp. Do you have a reaction? Um, no, no reaction. Everyone has their opinions. Um, you know, for me, uh, it doesn't bother me too much. And I keep telling y'all, like, uh, everyone who's saying, like, you know, who's, Everyone has their opinions, you know, and um, my opinion is my own. And, and that's the only thing that should matter at the end of the day is like the belief that I have in myself, that I know what I'm capable of and I'm going to go in there and I know I'm going to get the job done. So um, can't wait to, tell to prove people wrong, you know. For our next question, we're going to go to Deepak Kumar of Essentially Sports. Deepak, go ahead with your question.
Deepak, are you there? I'm not sure if we have him. Deepak, are you there? Okay, we'll move on to a different question. We were interest, uh, interviewing Danielle Kelly earlier. She's, of course, making her debut against Mei Yamaguchi, which should be really interesting. And she's talked about wanting to transition to MMA, but in terms of grappling matches, she said she would love to face you or Michelle Nicolini as well. Are you interested in doing more grappling matches or are you wholly focused on MMA? Oh, it's definitely something that I'm... Um that I'd be interested in, why not? Uh, you've already touched upon kind of what a busy schedule you have at the moment, but having missed out on so much time inside the circle, are you wanting to be quite active now? And are you wanting to have a few more defenses in the next year or so? Yes, that's definitely the goal. All right, and finally, do you have a message for the fans ahead of this historic fight? <sighs> Man, um, I just want to see, I just, uh, sorry, I just want to say that you guys are going to be in for a treat. Um, I'm going to be bringing my daughter with me and, um, you know, along with the rest of my team, my family. And, um, you know, we, we can't wait to touch down in Singapore. It's been a while since I've been there and uh, I can't wait to see y'all. So buy those tickets and show up because it's going to be um, definitely a historical night. Oh, yeah. And before I forget, did you see that uh, Martin Nguyen was saying to Christian, why don't we do a trilogy in a grappling fight? Now, that was kind of short notice. But what did Christian have to say about that? Was that ever going to happen? Honestly, I, I, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. And I, I don't think Christian's on his phone very much. So I don't think that he's even heard about it. So I'll have to ask him later. All right. Well, I'm sure we'll get a chance in the future, but it will be great to have you all back in Singapore and great to have you back inside the circle. Respect, champ. Good to see you. All the best. All right. Thank you. And to our media, thank you so much for your questions. It's been great having you. Do stay up to date with all the updates on the One Championship website. And in the meantime, we will see you at 1X on March 26th.